Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 8 p.m. Why the hell am I saying good morning? Oh, I'm losing it. Um, anyway, this is Micro Honk. I am pretty sure it is from Stir. If I click this, I go into my Shift tab, which does not actually um, XSplit, does not see it. So anyway, yes, it is from Stir. It is Micro Honk, the same person who made South Honk and North Honk and every other sort of honk. Um, so I've dabbled in this map a couple of times and it's always confused the hell out of me. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a kind of a blind th playthrough. I've kind of gone a bit into it, but I think this one is a very interesting map. Um, and there's some very interesting decisions to make as regards to how these three tunnels are used and how the trains go through them. Uh, now the interesting thing is on this right hand side obviously you have this top thing the 10th street shops which sort of bounces off but this is relatively flexible uh, so that one goes to North Honk you can get from this North Honk 6 all the way up to 10th street shops 1 and everything in between now where it gets interesting is on this side because you cannot take this tunnel and then go down to platforms three or four. That uh, This tunnel only goes to one and two. So if you go for some sort of pure train balancing method going from right to left or left to right, then you may find yourself not going down the tunnels that you need to go down or something like that. Now, as far as I can tell, there are no crazy trains. Uh, not that I've seen so far anyway. We may see some later, but for now it seems like everything is uh, a CM that I can see. None of the CMs are crazy trains, which makes it nice and easy. So, for now, it's every train is just left to right and they start to get uh, multi-directional a little bit later, which is where things start to get very, very interesting. So, as I said, doing a semi-blind playthrough. Uh, this one, we're gonna send up the back of this one and down num number four. But we are gonna start to, then the reason we're doing it semi-blind is because I wanna sort of plan this on the fly. I do not want to sort of come out with an Excel spreadsheet on this one. I just want to sort of, maybe it's sort of a how how I would make an Excel spreadsheet or at least how I would plan this sort of thing. Uh, wait a sec. No, that's not right. Um, that's not right at all. What are we doing here? North Honk 2. Uh, I'm already losing it. I'm already losing it. This one's going to North Honk 3. This one is leaving 805. This one's leaving 804. I thought it was easy so far. Apparently it's not easy yet. Um, still kind of easy. So these two will go through the top one. This one... We will cut down into the middle one and then send it to number three. So it's not that hard. When these, all these ones, the four minute one and the five minute one start to go off, that's when it starts to get a little bit more complicated. For now, it's kind of okay. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where we had to do planning. Uh, so this three, if you sent it down the top tunnel, it would be impossible for it to reach that station. So... The middle and the bottom ones are possible to reach all four stations. So that's where you have to kind of plan it ahead. Like this guy, you you would probably want to send him at the top tunnel if possible, because it's nice and easy. <coughs> you have to send him the middle or the bottom tunnel. Uh, what do we got here? North Honk 2 and then North Honk 4. <coughs> I did do that, right? North Honk 2 and then North Honk 4. There, there's the number. I was waiting for the number to show up and it wasn't showing up. So yeah, so this is this is all the easy bit. Um, 
in a second we're going to have to start dealing with the difficulty because all of these are going to uh, all start needing to go very very soon very close to each other and my plan is to get all the trains out wait until the last possible moment and then plan stuff so we're going to wait until these guys all get to last possible moment to all these trains have cleared and then we're going to pause it and then we're going to make a plan all right, i'm going to get you on the thing so you're passing so you go straight into there we can wrap that one up already okay so this this one this one is obviously going to wait this one is obviously going to leave so this one goes down to number four which means we have to get it on one of these bottom tracks either the third or the fourth one now what it would be nice if that one could go in the middle and that one could also go in the middle and this one could go in the bottom now this one cannot go in the top it just can't so we've got to send i'd love to send these two on the same ones i'd love to send them on the same ones um so we've got three trains going left that need to be dealt with right now that's this one this one and this one um now these two leave at the same time if you try and put them both in the same tunnel they get a bit too screwed up and that's not good so what are we going to do here so this one has to go at one of the bottom two this one is two and three so two and three have to go up one of the bottom ones we can send this one along the top one and then we can send both of these along the bottom one okay so let's plan it out that goes there and that goes after it and that goes at the top one then this one goes here and this one goes right behind it and going left to right they can make it any direction they want this one goes a little bit later okay i'm happy with that we've got this one going to number one as well so this is what a good schedule looks like um i think yeah i'm pretty sure this one will work out and i have a feeling that we'll probably just be doing a bunch of things like this a bunch of mappings to try and get everything beautiful so this is number four so you go down there and then into there that one's fine this is number three so you go right there where are you going are oh, you just waiting for the tunnel to clear uh let's hope the tunnel clears in a second yes i wanted to make sure this route popped up before this one crossed over into number three you are going to number two which is beautiful okay hopefully we've got no trains coming up soon that invalidate our last sequence hopefully we don't have to look that far ahead to start worrying about things we will look a little bit ahead though so this one is number six okay you're nice and easy i'm glad you put you down the bottom tunnel that one's taken care of that one is the next one goes down there okay we haven't got anything less than a minute so i'm going to let these start to move out and we're going to see what happens here please don't what do we got one at 8 15 and that's the next train okay so we got a little bit of time we should be able to plan these guys out easily enough okay so you i can put there and you i can put there uh like i meant to i can put you in this one as well yeah you can put two trains that are a minute apart in the same tunnel without really slowing them down too much if two trains leaving at exactly the same time go in the same tunnel that's bad news so we just have to make sure we don't do that so i'll put that one in that tunnel as well and that's a nice flexible tunnel that can do anything i guess the bottom tunnel is as well but 
I like to leave the I'd like to leave one tunnel free. Okay, so you're North Honk 2, so you queue up over there. This one going through first is number four. Our next one is number one. That one doesn't come for a while, so yeah, we're pretty good. Um, I'm sort of getting a bit ahead of myself, but I'm feeling like we've got a pretty good handle on this map. Um, there's not going to be any sort of crazy mid, mid mainline reverses, I don't think. Um, on this map. You're not going to be late, are you? No. I'm pretty sure you're still going to be on time. Yeah. Any sort of midline... Re if there's any midline reversals in this map, I'll be extremely surprised. Okay. We're going to queue you up straight away because I think that guy will need to get moving very quickly. Euro 128. This is the only one less than a minute, so that's the only one we're going to worry about at the moment. I'm going to wait until these count down to about 30 seconds, and then we're going to start planning stuff out. Maybe a little bit less than 30 seconds. Wait for this train to get out of the way. Wait for that train to get out of the way. Wait till the very last moment, because we do have the magic of the pause button. Okay, so I'm liking the idea of sending these two down the bottom line. You are number three. Let's have a look at the next station. Uh, this is 818, number four, goes to number four. So we could send that one down the bottom line as well. It leaves at 819, this one leaves at 817, this one leaves at 816. Okay, so you go down there, and then you go right after that. We send both of them down the bottom line. That feels fine to me. We send this one up the top line. We send that one in the middle line. Uh, and then later on, we can send this one in the middle line as well. Do we? We can send it in the top line. It, it, it'll probably be it's more flexible to send it at the top line. Definitely. Whoa, whoa, that's not good. That's a little bit of a misalignment right there. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, we'll send that up to the top because then the middle lane clears up earlier and the middle lane will be good for clear. Are we almost finished the bloody map? It's got, even though it's micro honk, the fact that it had honk in the name made me think that this map was going to be going for like the next four hours or something. But yeah, I think we're already uh, pretty much done with the map. So there we go. Kind of uh, number one. You are number three. That's good. I like it. Short and sweet. Uh, you are going to number four. Well, we won't queue that one up yet because we're waiting for this one to get queued. Okay, now you can go to number five and then you go to number one. You land at 8.20. You leave at 8.20. Okay, so we can queue that one up first. And you go right behind and over to number four. And this one is going to number two. Pre-queuing all day. We haven't pre-queued this one, but yeah. It's a, it's a thing of beauty when you can pre-queue this much. Uh, let's just send it there. Send it to the middle one. The middle one looks nice and easy. And then that one goes to number two. Are we at the end state yet? No, because we've still got weird stuff like this happening. That's that's happening in four minutes. We're not going to touch that one yet. Mm, we're not going to touch that one yet. But yeah. Yeah, I like this. Short and sweet. It did give me a worry for a second. It did make me think, oh god, I'm going to have to plan some stuff here. But yeah, then it worked out okay. Uh, and you 
go to number one. So you guys do not overlap. We got another train. Oh my god. All right. We can send you right up there. That's easy enough. Definitely going to number two. Oh, exiting number two. Going to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Oh, yeah. It is going North Hong 4 and then Lemeret. Like a Merit 3. Ah, oh, these. I'm getting these two stations confused. If I send a train to the wrong platform, that will be why. Because these are the same, two to two, and then this is four to three. Uh, we've got no more trains coming, so we can just send that one through. Uh, but not yet. This one goes through first, that one goes through next. This one has to leave very, very quickly. Hmm. We still gotta turn this one around there somewhere, so. Where are you going? Three, I guess. And that's going to... I think that's the end state right there. I think that really is. Let's, let's go ahead, push it in full speed. Get ready to slow it down if we need to. I don't think we need to. I think we can just keep it going full speed ahead. Uh, yeah, that one's right. That one's right. Jeez, that was a little bit of a scary end state, but it all worked out okay. Oh, there we go. Micro honk. Full, and that was... That was the first time I played it through, 100%. So I got halfway through and I started making mistakes. And then I was like, okay, I want to fully test this through, but I just decided to go through and just play it through, all the way through, and have some fun. So anyway, that was that. Thank you very much for watching, and we definitely got to start hitting some harder maps soon. So yeah, but that's it. I'm done. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys later.